Ketchikan, Alaska. About to go see TG and Jan take the ferry across this island. We got a camping trip ahead of us. Hey, Jan. horsepower motor this is our skiff to get to the cabin with no heat no fire nothing like that so we're really roughing it this time tying up to tonight and then we're gonna use this to take all our stuff onto the island why well, you got water coming in Then we got Alex's and my pack. Yeah, it's gonna be two trips. There's room, but I can't. I wouldn't. It's gonna be wet. I do two trips. Yeah. Okay. TJ, hold on where you are. I'm gonna get as shallow as I can, and I'm gonna flip the boat. And when I'm flipping it, I'm gonna give it a little power, and it should get. And you drop off, and you'll have a straight shot to shore. Grab it. That's as good as I can get, TJ. Understood. Alright, I'm push you. Hey, be careful when you drop. You're about to go like, right over a log, right in front of you there. I see it. Like, I mean... That's what stopped me from turning. Would it be better? I think we need two people. Yeah. Yeah. Two people paddling on either side. Yeah. It, it won't stay in? I think it looks like it might have just broke. Alright, ready? Push you as hard as I can. Oh yeah, this is fine. Oh yeah, the current's a little bit stronger here though. Let's get a little closer to shore. Dude, we got a lot of water in the boat. Gonna slow it down for sure. sure. Well, we made it. Starting to rain a little bit. One of the pontoons getting going flat. The other side is good. We got about four inches of water, but we made it. So now we're gonna go find our camp spot. It's a nice cabin, apparently. Probably should have had a real pack. I got one big one with all my camera gear, another one with all my food and stuff. And I thought, why not just go in comfort? So I got the five inch insulator. TJ's holding a gallon of diesel 
Got a doubt gallon of diesel stuck on Alex's pack and that's what we're gonna heat the cabin with tonight. There's a diesel heater in there. We are really out here. Oh, we've been hiking for probably over a mile. I know TJ's legs are soaked in those neoprene waders and miner. Dude, yeah, I'm dripping wet. And <laughs> yeah, we're climbing under trees, going through this, our pack's getting stuck. I'm soaking wet too. I, uh, yeah, man. But we're almost there. We just saw a waterfall, and that's the sign that we're close. There goes TJ and Alex. We got two boats. And there's our cabin. Let's take a look inside here. I'll be sleeping down on this bunk. Man, I hauled that big mattress in, but it was worth it. I know it's gonna be worth it tonight. TJ's on top, over here's Alex, and got all our stuff. We're about to start fishing right now. First time going for steelhead. This is the rig. We got a bobber stopper on top to the bobber, and that's all on the main line. Going town to a swivel to eight pound mono going down to the small pink jig head. Now the size limit for a keeper steel head out here is like 36 inches or something crazy which most people would never catch and even if they do catch it, probably gonna release it too. But there are other trout here so that's probably, well, that's the goal of what we're gonna have for dinner. Otherwise, we're trying to catch a big old steel head. We got a bunch of freeze dry food. TJ and Alex, they're on the trail already so I better get over there and catch up. So I'm just trying to catch up to Alex and TJ. We're probably gonna fish the first hole that we saw, which is about probably half a mile down the trail. First time fishing for steelhead. We'll be out here for three days. Hopefully we get lucky and get something. Now why these steelhead like this pink? I don't know, but it seems to be a go-to color. We are fishing out here where each rod can only have one hook and barbed hooks are all right. So that's the regulations. And now we're just trying to find TJ. And he told me that there are wolves out here too. So that's another thing in the back of my mind. Wolves and bears. So TJ just saw a good fish rise about 80 yards down, but they're gonna hit that spot. And I'm gonna hit right here. They totally could be a fish. Um, gonna set the indicator. I'm gonna set this bobber stopper uh, about two feet. Looks like it's about three or four feet. So we're gonna now stay close to the bottom. We got a one eighth ounce jig head with some pink on it. So let's give it a shot. This is a nice drift right here though. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Just raise that bobber stopper up eight inches. And I'm gonna work my way up towards that waterfall. I don't know. I just raised the uh, bobber stopper too. Went down. Yeah, that got my heart beating. Did y'all see that bobber go down for a split second? Fish on right here. Woo! It's 
coming in. It's coming in. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there he goes. There he goes. Oh no. Oh, he's running around like crazy. Can't let him get by these. Oh. Oh, there he is. He's coming in. He's right here. He's right in front of me. Oh, he's a nice one. That's nice. I got eight pound test. I don't want him to flop around too long, too much. I'm gonna loosen the drag just a little bit. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Like work down here, work down here, work them down past these rocks, I think. Ooh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh, look at that thing. Steelhead, baby. Steelhead, let's go. There he is by these rocks. Oh, no, don't break off, don't break off. He's still fighting hard. Come on up here and work him into the shallows over here. Oh, dude, that was like 10 casts. Stay over here. Come on. In. Come on in here. Come on in here, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. God, a couple times I thought he broke off already. He's right on the rocks. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Alright. I'm gonna get him over here and the calm stuff. Come on over here, buddy. Come on over here. I don't think he's done yet. But come on over here. Come on over here. It's nice, it is. And I'm pretty sure it went down another time. And that run goes up all the way to the river to the waterfall pretty much maybe yo check this out oh uh oh special fish man came a long ways for that fish hell yeah man crazy man kind of speechless oh <gasps> took by the skin of his lip just to remember him first steelhead ever in alaska thanks to my buddy tj right there <laughs> good right there that's the guy <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let him go see you later and there he goes he's gone, he's gone. <laughs> Dude, that was. Give me a hug, man. <laughs> awesome. That was so awesome. cool. Awesome, 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 mm -hmm. awesome. First steelhead, dude. Can't wipe this smile off my face. Came all the way to Alaska, tied on the pink jig head, one eighth ounce. Moved up that slider about three feet so i got some tips from ensay thanks bro 
Brad from Outdoor Pro Shop. Oh, this is like a freaking uh, award ceremony right here. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Outdoor Pro Shop. They did give me these waders, so big shout out to you guys. Outdoor Pro Shops, they got tons of stuff. But um, yeah, man, crazy. Woo. Yeah, I'm gonna be thinking about that one for a while. Let's get back in there, see if we can get really lucky and get another one. So that's the jig I'm using. It's one eighth ounce and that's going to eight pound mono. Going to a snap, not a snap swivel, just a regular swivel. And then I do have another bobber stopper here on the bottom just in case for some reason the knot breaks, then at least I won't lose the bobber. And on top of the bobber, I've got another bobber stopper and that total length from top to bottom is about four feet, maybe four and a half feet. And that's, geez, I think it's going to happen again, so just watch this indicator. Well, maybe not. There was a spot that Alex was saying he was casting down there and he saw a couple rise, but with the fly rod, he couldn't get it out that far. So with the spinning rod, I think I can cast it out that far. Give it a shot. TJ own not a steelhead a trout that's all good little guy want to have keep him for dinner good eater size right what do you think good eater size. yeah let's keep him for sure is it just a regular old rainbow huh or what yeah just a rainbow oh yeah be eating good tonight <laughs> That's an actual protein. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good eater size. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And yeah, what did he bite on? That little pink jig. So we got our fish and we're going to just gut it, bleed it. Male, oh, it's a male cross, too. Cross See that? Down there. Yep. That's a male for sure. Big old liver. Nice meat. Really nice looking meat. I'm just going to get this uh, bloodline out here. The meat looks good. Quick little rinse. Oh no, I was getting a little too brazen just because I caught that one fish, so I put the bobber stopper deeper. Now I got snagged. I don't think I'll be able to get this one off. If I do, I will be lucky. Yeah, damn. I got one more jig head like this. That's it, but it's a different color, but just one more. Big one? No. Oh, I mean, it's a steelhead. Definitely another steelhead. Nice. Oh, even, even bigger than the other one, I think. This one's even bigger, I think. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, this one's nice. Yeah, this one's nice. This one's got more color on it for sure. Tighten that dry just a tiny bit. Let's get him in here. There he is. Looks just like a big old trout. What if it, it might just be a trout? Yeah, that might just be a trout. If it's a trout, you want to keep him for the trip and that'll be our meat? Huh? How big is he? He's probably like 24 at least.
You wouldn't risk it, you said? Yeah, this case it is with the small steelhead. Yeah. Ah. Right. Let's see if I can get him in here. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Come on in here. Just gotta take it easy, though. He's. He, big. There's nowhere to really land him right around these rocks though. But man, that's a nice fish right there. Man, that's nice. I don't know if I can get my hands on him. Man. Definitely does not. He's not done fighting. He's got a lot of energy in him. Oh, broke him off. Came off. Well, he just came off. Yeah. Damn. Couldn't get him. Couldn't get him in. No net. Could have had him if I had a net. Damn. Amazing, though. Shoot, that looked like a huge trout. I really wanted to show you guys, but ah, I should have brought him. Probably should have brought him downstream and just got him in quick. Oh well, now we know next time for next time. Man, what a day. Amazing catching that fish. Now we're gonna cook some trout up and mix it with the MRE. Uh, yeah, here's the sweet and sour pork mountain house. TJ, yours is what? Chili Mac. first day I got this huge knot on my leg check it out oh god this was this came when I was fighting the steelhead can you see it it's like I don't know if you can see it but it's like the size of a it's all swole up boom right there well worth it though I would 100% do that again if I were to catch a steelhead first one ever tomorrow we're going to go steelheading again course but I'm gonna to try to get one with the fly rod that's the whole goal tomorrow the next day there's a beautiful lake right in front of us and we're gonna to try to get some trout in the lake so stay tuned for the next one <laughs>